okay YouTube. So I think I'll make this like a you know just sipping with acidic roots or something. I know I've kind of tended to do certain things, but I figured why not? And I've I've mentioned hide nor hair of alcohol across the first two and a half years of this channel, so I guess I'm just gonna share with you guys a couple of stories and then eventually do a vlog along with it. So first thing I'll talk about are the bean stocks from Mario. Now if you look at that Booger Man poster right there, um, that happens to showcase him actually in game rather than just taking a snapshot of the Booger Man logo and putting him there. I mean, I, the type of posters I enjoy the most are the ones that bring you in field rather than just looking at the game as a whole. You know, like, those are always the more developed game. You know, back when there were cartridges and that sort of thing, they would put, like, some fancy artwork on the label on the cartridge and on the box. And it usually was what attracted someone to buy the game. And that's what they did back in 1985 and 1993 and some of these type things. And Nintendo Power, the magazine, was also pretty distinct for doing that also. I mean, that was, you know, that's what probably convinced my parents to get the magazine and get me subscribed to it back in 93. So, it was just an extra thing that happened. And the, I feel like a brilliant poster for uh, Mario would be one where he is... one where he is climbing a beanstalk. Now, you've seen me beat Mario multiple times. I've shown how many times how I've been able to beat the game. But the whole thing is, is I've never really shown the secret. So I don't know. That's the whole thing. I don't know where the beanstalks are. It gets to the cloud land and the coin heaven and all that. I really haven't the famous as to where it would be. I'm getting British on you guys. I haven't the faintest. <laughs> I haven't the foggiest. But it is the truth. I mean, I don't really know where such a thing would be located. So, I mean, obviously it's not that hard to figure out. But, you know, I just, I knew where the, I knew where the warp zones were. And I knew how to beat the game. And that was basically it. But, yeah, I would like to see... A poster showing a beanstalk. This just about damn near everything about Mario has some significance to it. I mean, even the Goombas, the little mushroom things that walk, those are pretty identifiable as well. And that's just been, you know, an extra reserve on that. So, I mean, I'm surprised that some manga artist hasn't just shoehorned Miyamoto's creation and said, "Look." You know, let me do some high-profile artwork and get you... I mean, obviously Miyamoto is not someone who needs money, but I wouldn't mind having a poster on the wall of Super Mario doing something. I mean, just him holding a mushroom and seeing the backgrounds with the blocks in the air and the coin block with the question mark on it. I mean, some of that stuff would be pretty brilliant. Maybe they've done it. You know, that's the whole thing. I've looked on Amazon for Mario merchandise. I'm getting close, and I'll, I'll probably wind up getting one as the months pass. I'm going to wind up getting a Mario plushie, which I'm going to get the one-up mushroom. I mean, who doesn't want that? You 